I need a step stool. Craig? What's up? Give me one second. Okay. I mean, like, this is what I'm concerned with. I mean, there's no way that Shep has a hair dryer in his house. Well, it's his family's house. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. When I go on road trips with Craig, Craig always drives. If I'm an amateur psychologist, it's probably a control thing. I'm always driving because my friends are always drunk. Woo! Oh my God, Craig! <laughs> Did we lose anything? Nope. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way, sorry. Oh my god, dude, that's so embarrassing. Okay, are you gonna make it? I'm gonna make it. We're gonna get this outfit. Can we get a different cane for the outfit? Yeah, if you can find one. Would you mind getting the door for me? Oh, of course Thank you. not. Thank You're you so, so much. You're welcome. I'll hold it a little longer. This cane has got to go. <laughs> you gotta get something cute. Isn't it like a Kentucky Derby thing? Hey, how are you, How's sir? How's it going? Trying to get him an outfit. What we got Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Kind of want him in like cream linen. It's oh, cane part of it. <laughs> I took a little ATV crash. <laughs> okay. I went to Costa Rica, and I'm going down the mountain in an ATV, and I hit a little dirt drift, and I projectile pretty far down the side of the mountain. I'm laying there on the ground. There's blood everywhere. I look up, and the ATV is rolling down, and it pins my leg underneath of it. And I'm trapped and screaming in the jungle. And I'm like, am, am I going to lose a leg? So I get to the doctor, and he said, you're not going to die. Yeah, I guess it wasn't that bad. It, it hurt, but yeah. Can you try it on? Can you hold my cane? Yeah. <laughs> I'll protect you while we're in the you store. This too? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the first time JT and I bonded was when we were in Jamaica. Tomorrow morning. I'm trying to like see the sunset and then like do whatever. That's the sunrise. Sunrise. And ever since then, we talk every day, which is kind of wild to say, but I feel like we're just really close. Oh, that looks yummy on you. Yummy? You just <laughs> call me yummy? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you look nice. <laughs> okay can't teach chemistry. It's either there or it's not. It's there. So for the Carolina Cup, I rented a party bus. Are you in? Yes. All right. We have a game plan. Now, how are you going to pick that up? Good call. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Carolina Cup, it's technically a horse race. But it's really like a Lily Pulitzer fashion show. All the girls have the biggest hats. Any memories from Carolina Cup? Um, sadly, there are no memories for me because I would be too, um, lit. Are you, like, excited to see people tomorrow? Well, I haven't talked to Austin since last year. I think I'm going to perform the first ever boy exorcism. <laughs> Is it going to be eye contact? Hey, how you doing? Or are you not going to speak? I can't just be there with him and just be like, like, we got to have a conversation. 
I was not thrilled with Austin's behavior last year. It has to f***ing end. JT, You are an insecure, you are an arm's length friend. But you don't stand up and hold this guy accountable. You just told her to hush, like, what is she, a child? Do it again, boy! I think that the message landed. I'm gonna take the high road here and just be like, hey, I almost died. And uh, like, I don't care if you're toxic, uh, I'm good now. Yeah, like, life is too short. Life's too short to have people. <laughs>I was just calling to check in on the drive. How much longer do y'all have? Probably like an hour 40. Shep wants us to meet him at his farmhouse. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Okay. Bye. You didn't say I love you. I did not. I met Audrey last summer. She lives in Charlotte, and we've been officially dating for three months. You know, typically my move is to just like, you know, hang out with someone a bunch and like not define it because I'm like too chicken sh to, to say something. Right. But with Audrey, like I am the one that brought it up. And so I was like, we should define the relationship. How was my little pookie monster? Cook's is doing good. She's tired, per usual. <laughs> there's pooks, there's pookie monster, there's pookopotamus. It is still weird to tell people like, hey, this is my girlfriend. This, this is my girlfriend, Audrey. You know, for me, definitely. Like, it is a big step.